Welcome to Electron Online, and here we're going to talk about something very strange. We now we discovered that the universe is expanding, and because of the Hubble constant, we were able to figure out the rate of that expansion. But then, when we started, when we continued to study the uh, the methods to verify the Hubble constant, and one of those methods was to study Type 1a supernovas. And when we started looking at supernovas very far away with the Hubble Space Telescope we began to realize something was strange, something was off, something didn't make any sense. And here, let me explain. So here we have the Hubble constant, which is equal to the slope of this line, which is a relationship between the recessional velocities and the distance away for the galaxy. So for a particular galaxy that may be 30, 50, 80, 100 million light years away, we take a look at it, we determine the recessional velocity, we can then figure out the distance, we then maybe we will see a type 1a supernova there. We measure the brightness of that supernova and then we match the, the distance of that galaxy with the Hubble constant and usually it's a dead match. Not a problem. It is a nice confirmation that the Hubble constant is correct. But then when we look at galaxies that are farther away, we again use the recessional velocity to find the distance to the galaxy. And, uh, and so for example, this is where we think the galaxy is at distance-wise, and then we see a supernova explosion, we measure its brightness, we then figure out the distance to that galaxy using the, super, the type 1a supernova explosion, and guess what? The distance is actually farther away than we thought it was going to be using the Hubble constant. It actually came out to be farther away, which would indicate that the Hubble constant is actually changing in the far distant past. Remember, the farther we look in the universe, the farther back we look in time. So it looked like the Hubble constant wasn't constant all the way through, that it was actually declining. The Hubble constant was smaller, which means that the universe was expanding more slowly in the past and expanding more quickly today. So if we continue doing that, if we continue looking at galaxies further and further away, initially the distance that was determined by the Hubble constant matched the distance as determined by the supernova explosion. And, but then as we started looking farther and farther away, the supernova explosion seemed to have occurred further and further and further away than would be indicated by the Hubble constant, which means that the Hubble constant was decreasing in the past or Better yet, as time went forward, the Hubble constant was increasing as time went forward, meaning the acceleration of the universe is, is the, the expansion of the universe is accelerating. Wow, that was really strange. Because up until that time, and me personally as well, thought that the expansion of the universe was actually slowing down because of gravity. All the matter in the universe was pulling on each other, and it should slow down the expansion of the universe. Instead, we saw the opposite. The universe was actually expanding at a more rapid rate. See, the question always was, if the universe is slowing down, if the expansion is slowing down, will it eventually stop and will the universe then begin to fall back in on itself and have like a big crunch instead of a big bang? But if this is true, and we believe it is, and it will continue that way so that the expansion will continue to accelerate, the universe will never stop accelerating and will go out forever and ever and ever and never will come back together. Not that that makes a big difference for us, because that would be an event that's billions, if not trillions of years in the future anyway. But it's nice to understand the universe. It's nice to understand that this is what is happening, that the expansion is actually accelerating. And again, this was discovered by comparing the Hubble constant, which we found using Cepheid variables, and type 1a supernovae that are close by, to look at the type 1a supernovae that are far away. And all of a sudden, we realize that the Hubble constant isn't constant at all, but decreases farther back in time, which means the universe is expanding at an accelerating rate. That is quite amazing. So again, as you see, astronomy is a science that's continuously unraveling. We're continuously finding more and more the evidence of what's happening in the universe. And as we find more evidence, things that we, did, that we thought were true 10 years ago may not be true today. But we do know by studying type 1a supernovas that the, that the universe is accelerating, is expanding at an accelerating rate.